everyone, I'm Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to show you my September makes. Now I'm filming in yet another different location, so I'm actually in my studio. We've had the floor done, um, I've still got to decorate so the wall is still cream behind me but it will be uh, white and then I will be adding some of my prints and things. So I'm kind of sat amongst chaos because there's kind of fabric and art supplies kind of stacked everywhere. I am waiting on a delivery from Ikea so I can actually put up furniture. So if it sounds a little bit echoey, that's probably why. Um, also, I'm waiting for this chair to just slide away at any minute because it's a wheelie chair on new wooden floor. And so I just think that I'm gonna be rolling about all over the place. So September wasn't that productive for me. I made three items. But I'm really pleased with the items I made and also one of those was a new pattern. So I'm really pleased with that overall. So the first item I made was on the last day of the sewing weekender. So I didn't manage to finish anything but this at the sewing weekender and this was finished on the 1st of September. So this is the t-shirt. So it's in this viscose kind of crepe fabric. And that's from uh, Sew so Over It when I went to London as a trip for my birthday. And it's really lovely and drapey. And then the pattern itself is a mix of the plantain tea by Deering Doe and the Freya tea, uh, Freya sweater by Tilling the Buttons. And the reason for that is the shoulders and sleeves are a little bit wider and that's from the plantain tea as well as the neckline. But yeah, it has some shaping at the sides like the Freya. So I've kind of combined them together um, in this one. However, I do kind of wish it fitted a little bit tighter. So I kind of might go back to the Freya a little bit more. Um, and especially with this kind of fabric, it should drape really nicely, uh, the Freya. So I'll just pop it on and show you. So this is it. So really love the neckline. Really love the neckline. I feel, feel like the neckband went in really well. You can see the, this is a lot looser fit. Here. I'm wondering whether I could do taking a, a little bit off of the armpit but actually it feels quite comfortable and I'll just stand up and show you the length. So it's just the standard length of the Freya sweater and I've just double folded it and then sewn round with a straight stitch um, and then the sleeves just a short length just a standard uh, t-shirt but really love the fabric love the color slightly different for me um, and I think I will get a lot of wear out of it and I'll just change into the next thing so my next make is this and this is the indigo dress by Tilly and the buttons and this is the new pattern that she's just bought out this month now I don't sew much with woven fabrics and I wanted to give this one a go because I've actually had quite a lot of success from Tilly and the Buttons patterns recently and so I wanted to give it a go. And after the bodice fitting course that I went on, I feel a lot more confident about fitting uh, this kind of garment. So I did have to do some fit adjustments. I'm just gonna go through them. So the Indigo is a standard bodice with a side dart and it's kind of a smock style dress so you don't have to worry about too much fitting around the waist. Um, but obviously you do want to have a look at the shoulders. So the adjustments I uh, made, firstly, I had to move the dart upwards. I felt like it was a little bit too low. So I moved the dart up slightly and now it is um, lined up with my apex, so um, perfectly fitting. And that actually did a lot when I did the test versions um, that changed the kind of shaping a lot. It was straining a little bit across my bust and I thought I was gonna have to do a full bust adjustment. But actually it just turned out that I needed to move the dart, which was good. I also did a slight narrow shoulder adjustment. So um, by about a centimeter, so really not uh, very much. Now the sleeve still, I do wonder if I need to do a forward shoulder adjustment because the side, uh, the shoulder seam is not quite where I would want it. Um, so that might be on the kind of next one. But otherwise, I feel like it fits me really well. Now, one thing that is strange for me is kind of it limits my range of movement. Now, I know that that's kind of normal for woven garments. But I, when I say limits, I mean, I feel a little bit across the shoulders. But it's not like anything serious. I can still kind of put my arms forward and up to the side without too much problems. I did wear a cardigan with it, first of all. 
and that made it kind of rise up here and I thought there was something wrong but apparently it's just to do with the um, cardigan kind of friction with the fabric. Um, so I'll just stand up and show you. So this is it. So this fabric is a viscose from Like So Amazing and I've got the gathers across the front but I stopped the gathers at the side here. Um, but it's really lovely and floaty, really love that about it, really comfortable, feel like it fits really well um, and I did just the shorter sleeves. I did take about an inch off of the sides because it was just standing a little bit too wide for me. And let me just show you the back. So again, it kind of comes down in this dip, um, which I really love and that alters the skirt then as well. But yeah, really kind of flancy. Um, love that about it. So the pattern was really straightforward to follow. Um, e an easy sew. Uh, I finished all the edges with an overlocker and I kept the length as it is. Um, the one thing I've had a bit of a problem with is the facing. Now it's fine kind of now, but it does keep wanting to turn outwards. And every time I put it on, it like comes out like this. And I, I have interfaced it, but I don't know if that's just a problem with um, facings in general. Um, so next time I'm wondering whether I might try uh, bias binding on the neckline or whether I might try lining just the bodice, so just cutting another bodice and then sewing it in the inside just to finish the neckline. Um, I'm not quite sure kind of what I want to do, but I know that the facing is getting on my nerves a little bit. Um, it just keeps turning out, even though I've done all of what the pattern said. So that's something to consider. The other thing is I might do, I might add a waist tie. So Pink Coat Club on her version has added a waist tie and um, it's just sewn into the side seams and then you can tie it at the front or the back. So I'd be quite tempted to do that just to bring it in a bit, just for a different look, uh, which I quite like the idea of. And then also trying the longer and the kind of flounce or frill sleeve, because this, if I've tried to wear it with a top underneath and I feel quite uncomfortable because it doesn't quite have the room for that. I might have to size up. But with a cardigan, it works with a looser fit cardigan, but not a tighter fit cardigan. I am wondering whether I could put a little jumper over the top, like a cropped jumper, because I think that would look quite cute as well. So there's so much you can do with this. And I'm already thinking of versions that I can hack. I want to make the top version, maybe a button down version, just changing the neckline, adding other things onto the sleeves. Um, I think it's really versatile pattern for that. Um, and I know some people have added extra kind of flounces and frills along the bottom to make it kind of a maxi version as well. So there's so much you can do with it. Um, and I really like mine and I have a lot of viscose in my stash that uh, I haven't really known what to do with. I just like the pattern. And I think, oh, one day I will sew with wovens. And actually I'm gonna be sewing a few of those things into the indigo just because it is an easy pattern. And now I've modified the bodice. Perfect. <laughs> so the last thing I made were these. So these are men's Hudson pants and that pattern is by True Bias. And these are for my husband. So they're just in this marl sweatshirting, which I got from the nylon shop and it was really quite reasonable and I bought quite a bit of it because he wants some to wear at home. Now I did make a few changes to this. So I have uh, increased the space in the pocket. So I literally, um, measured down a little bit more and then pulled the pattern down a bit so it's got about two extra inches so the reason for that is um, my husband carries his phone in his pocket when he's at home and um, it kept falling out of the first pair I made so I made the pocket deeper and then on this pair I got rid of the cuff at the bottom now he has said since that he does like the cuff on the bottom so um, I will put it on the next pair the other one is, is I haven't added a drawstring to the waist. Um, I just sewed the waistband directly on it. It's got elastic in there, but I prefer the look of that than have the stitching on top. Um, I've just got quite thick elastic in there that is quite wide. And then I'd rather just not have the ties. They fit him perfectly. They actually also fit me, which is quite interesting that we're basically the same size. They're just way too long for me. I could wear them, it's like socks as well. But yeah, really pleased with those. And now I've altered the pattern, I can just go ahead and cut and make him quite a few pairs, which is really good because he's got um, really long legs because he's quite tall. And um, yeah, so I know that he will get a lot of wear out of them. And I really love it if I make stuff for other people and they get so much wear out of it. Uh, that really makes me really happy. So that's those. So that is all of my makes for this month. Um, I know my October makes is gonna be a little bit 
uh, more substantial because already I finished quite a few things. I basically had a whole stack of things that just had hems to finish. Um, so I've gone ahead and finished those now. So I will have a few more things to show you in my October mix. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.